It's like this. Who gon' bring it to the table? Boss talk. Who your girlfriend favorite? Boss talk. We gon' do it how you want it. Boss talk. Yeah, everybody on it. Boss talk. It's a unique hustle. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing official. Miss Jamaica, what's going on? Not none, you know, my dad walk on. Man, this guy back in here, man. You know, uh, you know, I sometimes get criticized by this guy being here, man. I don't know what's going on, man. The nigga say he got the key to the city, and he kind of proving it sometimes, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Check it, man. Hey, man, Rainwater's in the building, man. What's man, going on? I'm all right. Man, I'm good, man. I'm glad you came back, man. Shoot, you be busy. Who they told me up last time in the comments. What? <laughs> Man, you, hey, listen, man, you different. So, I mean, you got to be used to that by now. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah. Now, sometimes I be reading them come in and be mad. <laughs> you be commenting back at them a lot of times. I have some of the algorithms al so the uh, viewers can go up. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got a bone to pick with you, man. Let Before you, you pick that bone, no, hell I got to no. say something real quick. Congratulations on them triplets. Oh, oh hell, Jesus. I should have knew she was going to say that. Jesus. Them kids, man, going to wear that boy. They're beautiful. Down. I love when you posted that picture with all three of them. Yeah, I deal with that. If one sleep, the other one wake up. Wow, I of love shit. it. No, I don't love it. Which, which one <laughs> the baddest already? Uh, Colin. <laughs> Colin. Colin already trying to cry. Yeah, 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 I think Colin going to the pen. Don't say that. That nigga don't give a damn. Don't say that. That nigga don't give a damn. Every time I change the diaper, he five months. Every time I change the diaper, he'll get to piss on he'll try to piss on you. <laughs> it's like every time I do it, he know what he's doing. He try to piss on me. Yeah. Colin bad. You got a lot of good comments on the underneath that post. Yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a lot I, I got a lot of got a lot a whole, of love. I got paid for a big reality show with, with surrounded by my trips. Wow. That's awesome. Uh, uh, when I put the Mo3 album together, uh, when like the little mini documentary come out, uh, they'll cry if they don't like the song. Mm. On the way I get them quiet, uh, I'll play Mo3. Nuh-uh. Yeah, it was, it was Mo3, uh, Mo3 crazy ass put that, uh, put that in my... Oh. In them kids. Yeah, because listen, I ain't never had... Uh, I ain't never had twins. And you jumped to triplets? It, two days before he died? No, kind of shit. You, I bet you scared to have nobody else pregnant now because you scared it's going to be another set of triplets. Right, yeah, man, Mo3 all crazy. I sit there and laugh and say, yeah, you got me on this one. <laughs> you know what I'm man, he got I, me on this one. I, I'm going to tell you something, man. Family's always first, so I, I definitely congratulate you, man. Mm -hmm. That's hard, man. I got to ask you about why you tripping, man. I don't know what you've been drinking. I didn't think you drink like that. Nah. But I heard you say something, and I'm going to be honest with you. If well, you look to the... Right there to your left, and look right behind you right there, you'll see that I'm a big Tupac fan. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Now, now wait a minute. I, you, 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 I don't know if you were drinking or what last night, uh -huh. or whatever this was, it came through my, my timeline that you was uh, uh, you were saying Mo3 is better. Now, you can say Mo3 came up under Tupac, but you cannot say, what make him better than Tupac? Man? I never said, I said he had more talent. Uh, man, he can't. man, how can you say that? Because he didn't because do the movies too popular. No, I was about to say, how many movies no, no, have you done? I said, man. As I, this is why I say it. I said, as I listen to this album, Mo3 had more talent than Tupac. Tupac wasn't fucking with Mo3. So at the oh, end of the, the music. Yeah, the music. So if you go get a 14 year old, 15 year old right now and play Mo3 and listen and play t a Tupac, that 14 year old go say, Mo three because the the rap game has involved evolved. If you go, if Allen Iverson, my favorite player ever, Stephen Curry is better than, better than Allen Iverson because the game done involved. Allen Iverson was taken to the hole, getting all them uh, injuries. Stephen Curry is shooting so far back you can't even guard the motherfucker. So at the end of the day, that's why Stephen Curry got more rings than him. And at the end of the day, Mo three is more talented. Not all the way around. Not a bigger. Not, he wasn't never a bigger superstar than him. He was more talented. Uh, Tupac can't sing. It's, can't sing no R&B song. Well, here, here, here's can he? Yes or no? Here's, yes or no? Here's, can Tupac I'm not sing an R&B song? Answer that without saying this. Well, you gotta understand when you go get that fourteen year old, he gotta be from 1997, 1995, and then you got to get this. 14-year-old from I, today's time. I, and I, I guarantee you, right. because, you know, first I, of all, listen, listen, I want you to go get listen, a call. I want listen, to go get a call from 99. Mo 3 wouldn't even know how to wear his clothes like, like I, he did I, I if it was not for Tupac. I understand. He would not be that artist at all. I understand that. So you go get a 99 Camaro. Go get it. <laughs> go drive the motherfucker. The 2023 is better. Well, I can't say that in 99. Uh -huh. In 99... 
That I, I'm not gonna say in that. 99. In 99. Okay, hold on, hold on. It might be better improved on certain things, but I guarantee you, if both of them had a wreck, I prefer to be in that old school and <laughs> that new school any day. Oh uh, no, nah, look, the, the, the women done involved. We got BBLs. Uh, uh, that ain't even uh, Listen, these hoes are dying. Listen, hold on, hold on. These hoes are getting that stuff Nick, taken uh, out. Hold uh, on, niggas getting their teeth done. Yeah, yeah that's perfect. You know what I'm saying? So the world have been better. So at the end of the day, Mo three was more talented. Put two I couldn't go I ain't ever heard A Tupac song In the churches Man dear mama Played in churches You mm-hmm. gone with that man uh, dear, ma- dear, dear mama, mama Played in the church Dear mama Had to play In some uh, church now. Somewhere Dear I mama know. Had played more On Mother's Day Played more In the church I know it was In the churches Ain't no you way it wasn't show, in the show me a video I can show you a video Why videos Wasn't even out like that's that their That's their fault <laughs> I can show you a video they play, they singing outside. God give me a second chance. That's a hard they, song, man. But they, they, Mo three took a, a church a church type of style and made it popular for the singing in the club. Tupac couldn't do that. Wow. Well, you know, Tupac was a better lyric. Lyric. He had Lyricist. better lyrics. Yeah, and he and he was a better actor. And Mo three looked up to him. But at the end of the day, Mo three was more talented. Where, you, I would you're not saying agree where with the music that. is concerned. That's so what why, you're saying. No, no, why would you say you're not that? Why? Bro, you cannot say that. Man, Tupac, could he say, nigga, could he say, nigga say, rap though from I'm the not, pit I, I of his stomach? I understand that. You but, can't really. Hold on, hold nigga, on. you don't want to get so, on that mic with, with no damn So let Tupac. me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Hold on. Let me ask you a question. <laughs> Eminem really better than Tupac. Oh, hell now. Boy, you done <laughs> lost your mind. <laughs> Rick Do you really know you can't say that in Boss Talk 101? Do you know Eminem is not? Eminem Drake could never. Drake is really better. Could never. Why? Man, these dudes is not on the level of how this guy rap, man, where he come they from, bigger. his style. They bigger. There is no way that this nigga is man, bigger. Man, listen, listen. If you Ain't put, no way. If you took t- t- Tupac and Eminem in the same microphone, the same song, Eminem gonna rip it no, ass apart. No, no, Tupac gonna hurt you, boy. It's some stuff he gonna say that's gonna make you think way more, way in depth, and we relate to his music more. There's no way so, in so, hell. So you believe that Tupac is the most biggest rapper that, that ever came out, that, that came in the game? The biggest rapper. Rapper. That's I mean, big. Uh, no, li- lyric, li- uh, the lyrically, big, yeah, lyrically. Oh yeah, mo, mo, I'm a. I guarantee you. I, I, I'm. Anytime you put that Tupac on, man, it's spiritual, bro. It, it's so spiritual. It took him to death, to be honest with you. And he started a trend that even permeated to Mo Three. He had the hardest. Listen, he had the hardest. The the hardest beef record that 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 hit him up. That's where all these other niggas got even having courage to say some of the stuff they say on their songs. Without them hearing hit them up, some of this stuff we wouldn't even be said today that people were saying when they start beefing on songs. <laughs> Am I right? Nah, you right though. <laughs> but that thing got shit. This song got shit to do with I said he had more talent. Now that nigga rap. I'm going to be honest with Listen, you. Listen, LeBron James got more talent than motherfucking Michael Jordan. I don't believe that. That's the Why? young folks conversation. You niggas is in a whole nother era. He, if I'm gonna watch more explode, the most explosive person I ever seen on a basketball court is Michael Jordan. I've never seen nobody more explosive than Michael Jordan. Bro, he in the game with play, more pizzazz than any nigga LeBron that you will five, ever see play basketball in your life. LeBron nigga. can play yeah. five, uh, fly, five positions. It don't matter about he that. He more talented. He not gonna take the last shot. We go. We go get six more, rings in a row. Michael dealing Jones. with this nigga, we gotta go from Cleveland hello, hello, to listen. Miami back over here trying to find Michael niggas to sit around him so that we can get the hello, championship. Listen, y'all, y'all confused because Michael Jordan is more successful. He was more successful. LeBron is more talented. I don't agree with that. How? I don't agree with that, LeBron man. LeBron is more talented. Man, you got to understand. Man, if I'm going to go watch a game. If I put them in the race right now, LeBron going to be running fast to Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan couldn't even run fast. He wasn't about running fast. But when he's he more come, talented. When, he when, when we talking about talent, he jumped. Off the, off the, off just off the rip, when it come to getting to that goal, ain't no nigga faster Bro, than Jordan. Michael, that period. You don't think LeBron jump higher than Michael Jordan? Not as quick and not as precise. Man, come on. He jump high. Not as quick. and not, He just he really just a bigger body. It, it so a, he don't have to do as much to get to the goal, Okay, okay, okay. You know what I'm, I'm glad you said that because now Mo3 just took a bunch of genres of music and put it in one. That's why he's more talented. That's where you went with that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad, I'm glad you said that. Yeah. He was looking for that loophole right there. Some, some. Man, I, I just really, like I say, man, you can't deny the fact, man. A lot of people say that Rainwater can't, can't make another Mo3. That's something that a lot uh, of people say. They say, where is the new talent at that is able to equate to that? Uh, let me tell Was you. it just... Some people don't even want to give Rainwater the credit for even being a part of making that success happen. Yeah, yeah, you can't take that away from me. Look, um, 
Uh, let me tell you this. I, people always say that I never meet another Mo three. I probably won't in my life because I I probably need, n- n- won't meet another person that's talented and that's hungry. So I meet a lot of rappers and I try to work with a lot of rappers. But you know, I ain't never met a nigga that wanted to be the best. Yeah, you understand what I'm saying? If Mo three was here right now, I wouldn't be doing interviews. Yeah, because I because he'll be wanting to do. He'll be, doing he'll be wanting to be number one. These niggas I be around right now don't give a damn about being number one. You know what I'm saying? I see yeah. niggas wearing the same clothes, chains when Mo three was here. Wow. You know what so I'm if saying? you find somebody that um not say matches if Mo3 up to walk, him, if Mo three walked in his door right now, he gonna sit there and say, "Nigga, you got braids. Nigga, you got this chain. Nigga, 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 nigga you." I ain't stopped. Even pushing this music, if he ever heard heard this new album, eighty five percent of the songs on there, he would know where they came from. Wow! Because I took verses and put them right here, and took beats and stopped the beats, and I did a lot of shit. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. you know he wouldn't know where they came from. You know what I'm saying? So I never stopped, and then, you know I try to push everybody. Some people say I was too hard on them niggas around me, and I was though because I was trying to get them skip a bunch of levels of the game so they don't have to deal with me and Mo Three did because Mo Three really died. It, Mo Three really died, so anybody, everybody around him didn't have to go through the shit that me and him went through. Done, done, and number seven. They've been going around doing interviews. Done, done, definitely. Yeah. Um, they're not with. They're not with what you got going no more. They don't. They not. They feel like that you didn't do right by them a lot of times. Uh, what is the issue? Why can't? Why didn't we see that hit come through them? Uh, when, uh, they worked with Mo Three. They was in the studio now, with Mo Three. Uh, they know the, They know how to get there. What's the problem? Uh, it's it's a lot of work to really have to work. You know what I'm saying? You got to stand up to the the the, the shoes of a Mo Three. Anybody, any rapper that have ever died. The rappers that was under them never prospered because it was hard to uh, uh, fit the shoes that they left y'all. You understand what I'm saying? Name a rapper that, that prospered after Tupac died. You don't hear nothing about the outlaws. You know what I'm saying? Danny boy. Yeah, so at the end of the day, you know, <laughs> I was trying to push them to do something that was never been done before. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Wake up every morning. Come on, man. Come on, do this, do this, do this, do this, do this. Do this. So when the done done, say yeah, you argue like my bitch, yeah, because I argue because I don't want to see you go through the same thing that me and Mo three have to go through, and I don't want to go back through them little ass clubs. Yeah, you understand know what I'm saying? I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that, nigga. I don't even want to be back in this city. When three died, I could have moved. I could have moved true. my whole family. I stayed behind for them. You understand know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Big X, ask them. Blow my phone up. When I first when four three first died, hey bro, look at listen to me, big bro, listen to me, bro. I go hard, I go do this, I go do that. Man, I used to tell nigga, nigga, nigga close to me in three. It was it was our partner, bro. Hey bro, just check my check my little my little nigga out, bro. I'm so far, I'm so stuck on done done the seven. Man, that nigga ain't finna be shit. Oh, I'm telling everybody. I told him. On Big X. Yeah, on Big X. He ain't finna be shit. This and that. He ain't nigga done done the seven finna be the biggest thing come out of Dallas. What happened? He was big ass was hungry. Mm-hmm. I watched him. Any any rapper in Dallas got to understand this. It's not about talent. It, it, it is about talent, but any rapper, it's, it's about how hungry and consistent you is. I watched the, I watched the rapper when I called and said, "Come on, let's go shoot a video." Bro, I ain't got no clothes, bro. I am, bro. I ain't got no clothes, bro. You want me go? You you, you want me go shoot a video with, with some bullshit on? I watched Big X shoot videos and, and perform with his shirt off every, mm-hmm. every, for two years straight with sweatpants on. Yep. It wasn't bad. No, he was hungry. And he he was consistent. I why I why I, I, it wasn't even bad. No image. Now I'm shit, nigga. Big ass shit. You gotta perform. Shit, I'm just taking my shirt off. So you more hungry. He was more hungry. So when niggas sit there and say, when niggas sit there and say, oh, yeah, you you'll never get make me another more three. Hell no, because the way he was hungry, it's ridiculous. We worked together. Now we was more hungry. We 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 was out trying to outdo each other. He he knew how hungry I was. So how hungry he was, nigga. All you gotta do is give me the material. Do you regret passing Big X up? Man, I hate it. That's a good question. I hate it. That, he told he told me one day, and when we left the studio one day, you could have had me. <laughs> I was I, I'm talking about I'm talking about I'm looking at the messages after after three. I mean, the, just recently, like, bro, you was hitting me up, mm-hmm. bro. Just listen to my music. Fuck that shit, nigga. We on some HSM shit, nigga. Nigga, done done the something to be the biggest shit around here. This and that, this and that, this and that. This and I'm preaching that shit. I'm looking crazy now. So who you have as artists right now? Oh, uh, Bumpy, Bumpy went just. I know you have yeah, Bumpy, Bumpy, Baby C, uh, Pink, but um, I got, that's I got, it. I got my own label. Uh, I got two more people that I'm, I'm pushing. I'm pushing right now. Cause I see you be posting like you be looking for new people. Nah, nah, not really. Uh, 
I got my own label, so you know anybody need a distribution company or, or somewhere to drop their music, you know, with my promotion, that's cool. Uh, I got a, a platform, Empire. Empire gave my own label, so uh, I'm not really into the managing right now no more. But uh, I want to be able to managers can only do too too much. I never give a, a rapper who ain't never grinded two hundred fifty thousand again. I got. Mm. I really, you know, I, I look at the the certain interviews that you do. And over there at Mogul Media, you said something. You said that Cuban doll set up. Oh, she tried to. I'm trying to understand how you went from that. When you told me on here that it was, uh, I think you told no, me. No, it had nothing to do with that. It didn't have nothing to do with that. This was way before. This was way before that. Yeah, this was way before that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So basically, one time she tried to set him up. Yeah, Mo3 was, Mo3 was supposed to be doing a song with her. She came with another rapper from DFW. And it was me, Mo3, and another dude that was in the studio. And she, she went to the front, and another rapper came in by five guns. They had them all sticking out their pants. You know what I'm saying? And so they know me and him and three. I always had, I, I already had some words. So she didn't let us know that she was gonna go open the door for these niggas. So they walked in, and three looked at them. She said, "Say, bro, look, come on, let me holler at you." And they went back to the we went back there to the back. Him and the Pacific person, all, all the other niggas stayed in there. And they talked about it. And after they talked about it. It came out that somebody else was missing. Wow! So you and they came and they came back and did a song, but she she could have got somebody killed that day. Wow! So you telling me that she knew that that was issues? Yeah, yeah, I know that. Everybody, that, that's why nobody else came around us ever said it wasn't true. So how how different did y'all move after 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 that happened? Uh, and I was pushing him to go do a song with him. You know. I was pushing him to do a song with him, you know what I'm saying? Did y'all move different after that, though? Did y'all Or did y'all just still keep stepping the way y'all was stepping? Yeah, we stepping because I was, I was around a solid individual. So, you know, in, in, at any moment, you know how it can go or which way it can go. So, you know, uh, uh, we knew next we knew not to just let anybody come over there and do no verses. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That was just right around the time of everybody and your friend. Wow, mm -hmm. that was right before everybody. Right before friend. that, yeah, yeah, right before everybody. Just friend. Let me, you know, when you look at South by Southwest, I ain't gonna lie, you can tell me if I'm wrong. You can tell me if I'm wrong. What? But it seemed like every year, South by Southwest comes. Since I've been dealing with this for a few years now, they get excited, they go down there and perform, and you don't get another performance for a whole year. Yeah, South by Southwest. Is Listen, you don't get another whole year. They come on the platform, they say we hot, we gonna do it this year. But I have to wait all the way to South by Southwest to get another performance. Yeah. Now, I'm not saying you, but I'm telling now, you this is what it seemed like to me. It's some bullshit. <laughs> well, explain. Uh, uh, South by Southwest, you just paying your money to sign up and perform for uh, around uh, in front of other artists. And a lot, a lot of those other artists is local. Local, yeah. You just, you just, you just you, we go cram a bunch of local motherfuckers in one room and y'all perform in front of each other. You, you got a better chance of going to the penitentiary and, and getting on. So how do you think it would be more beneficial? What do you think it would be? It's watered down. Niggas ain't gotten by. Back in the day, it was a perfect place. How can they bring it back? It's, it, well, once it's watered down, watered down, I got to move to another city. You got to move to, like, to Tennessee. Uh, uh, what you call it? What's the music uh, capital? Uh, not Memphis, Tennessee. Uh, Nashville. Nashville. I gotta go to where where executives not scared to walk through the streets no more, because back in the day you'll see big executives. You'll they see, just had a shooting out there. That's what I'm saying. So we're in Nashville. So I'm talking about I'm talking about when you, if we got a big music conference. Then you know mm. they'll bring they'll bring the people in charge to, to help their book. Uh, it's watered down. Uh, I'm still the king of uh, the strip club. Paid me this strip club paid me ten thousand dollars. I mean nine thousand dollars to perform. I mean, to uh, host a strip club. That's more than any rapper in Dallas can book for right now. So what I did, I took 9000 and I gave 2000 just for a nigga to show up to the hottest nigga in Dallas. Wow. And that was Big X. So yeah. I, I told him, nigga, you ain't got to perform. That's the most humblest nigga in the game right Very now. Very humble. He been on here. I yeah. like him. Yeah, yeah. That's the, that's the most humble nigga in the game. He stay, he stay solid. Uh, he, he, stand, he stand on what he say, how he say. You know what I'm saying? So I can't get mad about that. I got nothing bad about to say about him. You know, even people not my artists, I have something bad to say about him. I ain't got nothing bad to say about him. Uh, you know, uh, I give him his credit where he's due. What do you think he could be doing better? Because everybody have room to pr improve. Tell his story. 
I gotta tell the story. Gotta you don't think he has? Not really. We ain't, we don't uh, listen to his album. We don't know. We don't know. We don't know a story yet. Once he tell the story, you don't know another level. Mm. Every rapper, you know their story. That's real. You know what I'm saying? You know what well, apartments UGK was hustling out of. Uh, you know Boosie Mama. You know Yo Gotti where he where he, where you know everybody's story that lasts long. Everybody who lasts long in the in the rap game tell their story. Wow, how big was it to bring Boosie back to, uh, to to Tyler? Yeah, they don't mm-hmm. give me no credit for that. I'm, I'm asking was, how big was because you brought him back like like he hadn't been back in a while. Right, that was the biggest show in Tyler history. Mm-hmm. Do they do people know you the one did it? They don't want to give me the credit. <laughs> who they giving the credit to? They just sweep it under the rug. Mm. Well, I, I, I when it happened, I got some calls like, uh, "Man, you need to come down." We went to New York. Mm-hmm. It was no fights, no none of that. It was smooth. Yeah, I, I brought. Sold out? Yeah, sold out. There were 3,000. How many people? 3,000 3, people. Boosie, I went and go get Fast Lane. Fast Lane is a, mm-hmm. a hot, solid nigga from Houston. Uh, Big X, Baby C, uh, co um, uh TB, DJ. Uh, I, I'm, I'm doing big festivals and concerts now while I push the artists I need to push. And uh, uh, I ain't fucking with nobody who, who wasn't solid. Why that's did you real. choose Tyler to have this? That's where it all started for me. That's where you got shot at too. Yeah. <laughs> so a, you, just, you, 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 but, but it, that was on something else though. Oh yeah, I still don't know. You was promote. You I, don't even really know what that was about. Sleep. <laughs> you was sleeping in the car. Yeah. But he ain't scared to go back. That yeah. nigga hard, no, but Tyler, he went my back. people. I went. That did the after party at the strip club, man. You know, I, I went to the same spot. I got shot at and showed the people on camera. You know what I'm saying? So, uh. uh uh, I'm glad I got shot. What did getting shot do for you, Ray? It made me scary. So you wasn't scared before that? Hell no. You don't, you not scared into what you know you facing. See, a lot of these people, they not they will fuck a bitch raw until they get burnt mm-hmm. or catch AIDS. You right. So 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 until you know what you facing, yeah, it make you. I'm I, niggas. Listen, I went I went to prison and uh, leaving Tyler. And I got shot in Tyler. One thing it showed me, I made me a scary nigga that I don't want to get shot again, and I don't want to go to jail. So, so at the end of the day, I, that made me scary because that made me scary, it made me terrified, and made I don't want to get shot again. So, but if you're scary and terrified, how do you move differently? I move scary, like right now. I'm watching whoever walk through this door through this TV. <laughs> Just straight up, and if I, if I go outside and I see a group of niggas looking like they were gonna horn me, I'm gonna run across that street. <laughs> or, or I'm gonna call the real. police. Yeah, yeah. So I'm, 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 they made me scary. Yo, you don't know how to understand how they feel getting shot. Ooh, that shit burn. And you don't know if you gonna make it. And you leaking, leaking, and, and I got shot in the leg too. So I went to I went to the hospital. They had to cut my pants all the way out. You were mad about that? Yeah, they were. They don't care what kind of drawers you got on <laughs> or what you got going on. They they would cut your pants out, and then I hate getting shots. Me too. I hate them shots. Ooh, them, nigga, I, nigga, listen. I got my triplets ear pierced the other day. I ain't get my ears pierced. I ain't never got my ear pierced. <laughs> so, you know, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, now nah, I don't like needles. I don't like none of that shit. Did you cry when your triplets got their ears pierced? I damn near why I'm trying to hold them. You got to hold them straight like that. I kept on my baby. Why we doing this shit? <laughs> damn. <laughs> <laughs> you putting this nigga, these people to this much pain, they don't even want them to go through this. Give them a choice when they get 15, 16, they want to go get their earrings. Why are we doing it? They cannot not wear their earrings later on. Man, man, we already went through that pain. Man, you know, you know, I had Kogati on here since you was on here last time. Mm-hmm. And he, um, like I say, he trying to get it. How you think his music is going? He consistent right now. It ain't about the music, it's just being consistent. Mm. So he and, and he definitely uh, and he hungry, hungry. Yeah, yeah, he consistent because listen, at the end of the day. He never got the type of support in the music game and the type of, let's just say, uh, free shit when his brother died. You know what I'm saying? Because he was grieving. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to tell him how it go. You can't tell a man that's grieving how to do it until they learn for themselves. So why everybody else getting deals out of Mo 3 9 and getting free dogs and Free this and free that and free this, cause I got a lot of free shit. You know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, you know what I'm saying? Off the strength of Mo Three Nine, he never got that. So now it's his time to shine. And everybody get mad at me right now. I'm in Mo Three Mo. You know what I'm saying? I have took I took people off different songs that was on songs of Mo Three to make it bigger. 
You know what I'm saying? I think I commend you for that because it seems like you you figured that part out. That's a stronger because that's the part when I met you. You know, is yeah. after the whole situation. But to see the way you maneuvered in this situation, I give kudos to you for that because a lot of people couldn't have kept this going the way you have done. That's the hardest thing to do. You got a rapper that if he die, you can sit there and everything be good and say, y'all, he 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 dead and gone. Uh, well, the city need to come together. I could blame everything on him and let the city come back together and, and and I could live freely. You understand what I'm saying? Nah, hell nah. He could have did me like that. So I'm gonna keep pushing this music. I'm gonna go to the club every night by myself and pushing music. I'm the it's just me and the people that really love Mo3 still around. They're still around. All the excitement and everybody, the the, the chaos, they um damn near moved away. I yeah. can't call a nigga and say, hey, can you make sure Mo3 song get played? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Everybody, everybody kind of just don't fade it away to okay. Nah, I can't do that. Cause at the end of the day, so if you on this song and I don't even see you promote your own music, I'm gonna pay your bigger artist get on this song. Cause now the stream go through millions and millions and millions. Now them kids over there, them kids over there, millionaires for the rest of their lives. It's real. So you really getting the best bang for your buck. Like, yeah. During the situation because you know already that these are moves that where this is the last. You know, like all the songs he yeah. got, you you won't be able to get any more back. Uh-huh. So you gotta get. I the gotta best. make sure this album go number. Gotta one. make it hit. Yeah, I gotta make sure this album go number one. So at the end of the day. Uh, you know them kids right now they multi millionaires. Yeah. So um, do you manage Kogati? Hmm. Why not? Because I can't manage nobody that I, can, I know where the hurt come from it. You know what I'm saying? Like if my cousin come to me trying to rap, oh no, hell no. Mm-hmm. Them people, bro. I, I told my little cousin the other day he want to rap, and his mama, if mama trying to force me to listen to his music, bro. People is dying. Mm-hmm. I said, ma'am, listen. I mean, uh, I said, ma'am, listen. Your cousin's going, I mean, your son is going to die or go to prison. All them little boys around, everybody around, after a while, all the tears dried up for whatever happened, then they going to want his spot. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? If, 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 he, if he wore shoes, if he, if, if, he got, if he left his shoes and necklace over there, they probably going to worry. Mm. You know what I'm saying? This ain't no love in this rap game. So sure. people say this is the scariest business in the world. Yeah, cause ain't no love. Nigga, niggas call my phone every day. They only call for opportunity. Mm-hmm. I don't want you niggas around me. I still ride by myself every day. I don't want you niggas around me because it, once you say no or once you stop doing for them like they thought you were supposed to be doing for them, now you the bad guy. You can give a nigga a million dollars. But once you stop doing what they doing, nigga, that's a wrap. Niggas only fuck with you just because they, they want to keep it to you on this podcast. Let I you know. just stop all this shit. It, you won't hear from Yo let you stop Crickets Yo let you stop Giving niggas discounts On clothes Crickets Hey damn <laughs> You know what I'm saying So that's the hardest Part of the game Like when you know Niggas on there Around you Just for an opportunity I rather I Man I, I Man I, I rather Man I rather Fail by myself Do you, Now break this down to me Cause I gotta get The story on this You When you Mo3 pass away Uh huh Tell me what happened step for step for as you lost everything or or did you have money or or how hard is it when a when an artist you managing drops off to you know pretty much they not here no more. You don't know what to do. So what what did you do? How did you explain that to I me in a way to where how did you get, figure it I out? Ne- I never sat down and think thought about my next moves. I just went with whatever came first to my head and that fucked me a little bit, but it didn't it help me. Like people be like you a genius. I don't know how, I don't know what the genius move because I never had no strategic movement. I just went with the flow. But it seems like you figured it out, but you I always tell you you didn't never even take time to mourn because you were so busy. You mm-hmm. was on the internet arguing with everybody who would argue with you. If they said something about Mo3, you would definitely go in on them. So uh, it, it, it was like to me, like you didn't have a chance to really heal to this day, I'm like, if you don't take that time, then you just, make, but then over time, time does have a way of making hey, the know, better. You know what nigga told me? A big powerful nigga. A big powerful nigga from the game. He said, Ryan, he told me this last night. He said, bro, you, you, you remind me of P Diddy. We had to talk about you in this room. I said, why you say that? He said, when Biggie died, P Diddy was the most hated nigga in the world. He said he named the album after Biggie died, Public Enemy Number One. 
Wow. I said, for real? He said, yeah. He said, everybody in the game know who you is, how you stand up for your artist. And I said, he said, he said, all this go come, go blow past, and you go be a top nigga. He said, you just got to understand. So me and that nigga riding in the neighborhood through his city, and I think it was in Miami, and and I got a big ass house. And I said, bro, how your house get this big? Like, like retarded big. He said, see, you go out to artists who make music for niggas to kill each other. He said, I go out to artists to make music for the hoes, for women. That's on some chill shit that they can play in the schools, in the clubs, in the white people can listen to. And they said back it made sense to me. Wow. So, you know, at the end of the day, sometimes I'm, in, I'm involving. So, it ain't nothing wrong with the people like, such as, let's peach it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I try to tell them all the time, bro, that shit suck. Because it don't make you rich. Nigga, all you gonna do is get 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 into it with this nigga, get into it with this nigga. Y'all beefing the laws come. Either you die or either go to jail and then life move on. Wow. I I, I got a, a, a one more thing I want to say. Be king, man. You came out and I seen some stuff. Y'all were going back and forth in comments. That we never been back and forth. Well, somebody was going back and forth because some things happened. On I some told the world that we need the broke B King back. So you didn't you didn't talk to B King, no. but you threw words around B King name. No, I said I did the interview. Now that's my boy. Now yeah, that's my nigga too. I've been on fifteen years. Okay. So mm -hmm. I said we need the broke B King back. We need the B King with the flip flops and the gym shorts that came with a hit that made the bitches bounce their ass all over the club every year. He had three songs every year. So that was that, that was really giving him props. I said every year for the last 15 years, B. King got girls that was in high school, just judges now bouncing their ass, well, bouncing their ass back in the day. So, you know, at the end of the day, I was giving B. King his props. It's like a nigga tell me, hey, Ryan, if a nigga tell me all the time, they be cool when they do it. But a nigga tell me all the time, Ryan Water, we ain't seen you push your artists in, in months, in years. When you gonna come back out? I sit back and say, damn, you right. But that motherfucker went off. He on fire his artists and all kind of shit. Was that after you made that statement? Yeah, I just, I, his, his, his artist said, "Yo, we need to be king with the flip flops back." The world, the world, mm. the world know that. Wow! And that day he dropped it. Dropped him. Mm. And be king, my dog. How you talk to him? Since uh, him. I got to call him. That man. That's my boy right bro, there. Bro, I was around B King. I don't know. I don't know. If it didn't happen right then. Yeah, yeah, it happened right then. He did. The, 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 uh, stay down. Posted it. Then, 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 then old boy come in and say, yeah. Then, then next day he was dropped. Uh, what artist was that? Uh, I don't, I the one was here. The one. Oh him. Yeah, my oh, guy. Yeah. What oh, trouble? Trouble, trouble, trouble fam psycho. Yeah. Trouble fam psycho. psycho. Yeah. yeah. Nah, I've been around B King with Tasha. Okay. I just go over Tell Amisha. Yeah, I nah, No, Tasha, Tasha the first. Tasha. Yeah, oh, okay. Tasha. I to B King. I went to B King house. We used to eat over there, me and DJ Wild. We and B King was a hell of a nigga. I fuck with B King. You know what I'm saying? I like I fuck with B King. I watched B King sit there and make something out of nothing. B King told me that that, that when, when he made a red for what's her name? Uh red on the dance floor, I forgot the name, but the girl from Houston, he said, My life was out. And I'm like, that's my beat right there here on the radio. So I respect his story. Yeah. I respect his story. B King ain't finna buy no change. B King ain't finna buy none of that. B King go, B King like an ex. While all the other niggas running around here saying, I ain't got no clothes, I ain't got this. B King go make his own shit and make it do what it do. Yeah. But it was that the same thing that y'all were going back and forth with Smooth Vega over? I never know. Smooth Vega wanted me on his podcast for free. Oh, what? so is that the reason why y'all were going back and forth what? in the comments? Yeah, on? he wanted me on because you did the interview with Big D and, and then not him. I don't know him. He he mentioned something about you. Yeah, I don't know him. Be Vega, uh, yeah, he a Hispanic guy. Yeah, uh, he um, he but I, 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 he get a lot of the brothers he to come out through. To you? He he, he reached out to me trying to me. connect to the culture. Yeah, yeah, he, he, reached, uh, he reached out to me, asked me, can, can I come over there? And I just told him, I told him a thousand dollars. And he said no. Yeah, but you want me to put your you ain't did shit for me. I can't call you in the middle of the night and vent to you. And you want me to put you want me to come talk on your platform so you can put on YouTube to make money out of. But now I wanna go. Because now he sit there and made me seem like I don't know what I'm talking about. So now he got one day he got to sit on across that table with me. <laughs> Cause I mean, I know when I had him on here, I heard him say on Big Big D the boss talk, what did he say, boss talk? 
I did say that he's Hispanic, so it'd be a little bit easier for him to connect with certain people because for some reason our people have self-hate. So a lot of times if he may get somebody that wouldn't come on my platform because a lot of times we tend to go to other people that don't look like, and matter of fact, academics just said something about this. You know, when they get, you know, the people get a little money and statue, they tend to forget the people who built the foundation from, you know, I bought a lot of CDs from these niggas, cassette tapes and all kind of stuff. But when I you call no, these I, niggas, I ain't no work with them. but at the end of the day, you see, and, and I was telling them that because I want to see him win. I still love him, seeing him in the culture because he's doing a, he dope. I love to see you on this platform because I know already it's going to be a good interview. I love to see that happen. But I also know that at the end of the day, it, it opened doors for you because of the Hispanic culture. Yeah, yeah, and I understand that. So I like to see you over uh, there. Uh, listen, before I do business with a nigga, I tell him no. I told two people no. I know. You told you actually Bobo. wouldn't come over to mine at first. Yeah, yeah, I know. I told Bobo that, and I told him that. And I didn't want you over yeah. here at first. Yeah. Hell, I be very leery about niggas when I first meet them. I'm trying to figure out what's going on with them. Because yeah, I'm old. Yeah, I mean, I told Bobo, no, I need to go to Bobo shit tonight, though. I Bobo, told, that's my boy. Shoot. I he told Bobo, Bobo you no, know, and I told him. Uh, but you and Bobo talk after that. Yeah, I told both of them no. Both of them down. And then you just tell a nigga, no, you'll see how they really feel about you. Mm-hmm. Because they're going to go straight you, to the internet. You a snake, you this, you that, you this and that. But let me help you make some money. You the best thing smoking. <laughs> So if that's the case, I, why he on? Why do that, you go back and say, okay, I'm gonna do it now? Because now I'm gonna make you look crazy because you don't sit there and pillow talk to your hoes, you don't pillow talk to your partner, you don't did all this shit. Now rainwater there, damn. Now I ain't they gonna lie. Now I, they, now they know I, they I wanna shit. see that though. <laughs> I wanna see I that. I told Charles to know about the what's called. About what? I mean, now uh, uh, I remember getting out of jail. Like I told y'all from the get go, he put it on his YouTube. Mm. You ain't heard nothing back about the, uh, how murder changed me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I wanted to do it bigger. Now the mamas and they, so you, wait, wait. So you and Charleston ain't y'all still ain't talk no uh, more. Um, my partner found him in the strip club sleep. They were trying to get his ass up. I saw when you posted that picture. Yeah, they trying to get his ass up. They, they like I thought he didn't drink. He said he didn't drink. He didn't fucked out. I didn't. I see you because I wasn't gonna bring Charleston up because. You walked out on Big D thing, I believe, allegedly. Uh-huh. And I was like, I ain't going to bring up Charleston because I don't want Rain to walk out on my interview. Uh, nah, it's cool. <laughs> it's cool. I mean, so but, what happened? Why, did you really walk out or what was what was going on with that? Uh, I put the first, I put, I'm, the internet, the internet want to see drum. <laughs> the internet want to see the bad guy. So, so you gave him a little bit of taste of it? Yeah. Man, you know, I, I'm going to be real with you. I, I love seeing you when you do your interviews, man. So is there going to be another Sean Cotton one? Or like, like y'all y'all going to keep going in? Yeah, he told me last week. I told him to wait that South by. I was waiting for something dramatic to happen South by, so we had something Say cheese. About. Yeah, I told him to wait that South by. But it's Tupac shit up. I think people eating that up. Yeah. Uh, but the word, what I said was I said he wasn't better. He was had more talent. Mm-hmm. He wasn't more successful. Yeah. He had more talent. What do you think about this blue check thing that everybody? Oh about damn! Nowadays? Wait a minute, these niggas got blue checks. Yeah, that, everybody $15 popping up for this. Ten dollars yeah, and ten dollars. I see the nigga with the blue check yeah, now. Yeah, the uh, the nigga that cut my yard had a blue check. <laughs> <laughs> I don't own it no more. <laughs> I, I seen that nigga pay. I said, damn, they got two thousand followers with a blue check. I'm like, lawn service. You don't get your money. I don't want it no more. You done with it? I don't want it no more. I, I, I think they uh, they emailed me said they go. Asked me because I had got certified, I had got approved, but then they say go switch everything to gold check. So the, I all heard the, about that too. All these, all these people got these blue check family blue check. Y'all finna look crazy. Mm-hmm. So when they change them to gold, they gonna be like, damn, damn. You just you I just and you can't buy that. You got to work for yeah. Y- y- y'all just got suckled. Mm-hmm. The gold check is gonna put them in a different see because we we get real blue checks over here, totally blue. I'm talking about the realest blue mm-hmm. checks. I'm talking about big face blue yeah, chicks. Yeah, see, there's a difference. <laughs> I see now, so, kind of niggas, they, they running with these damn blue chicks there, and then they go look crazy and stuff. But they already got your $15. They probably made, the internet probably made, Instagram probably made, probably about $2 million. Yeah. So how, do they, how do they do the blue check thing? Like, like I, you have to apply for it, or how do they do it now? Yeah, you got to apply for it, then you got to put the... Uh, your articles in there. You got to put your name in there. That's stuff. for the real blue check. That's real blue check. How you know the real blue check from the fake ones looking on social media? Because they go change to go. And then I, I, I. No, I'm talking like right now. Uh, I, can see, I can see they don't have their real names on there. 
Okay, just checking to see if you knew. The, the, yeah, the big dogs don't have their names. But the little dogs got their names. They got, they got personal names, so I just go back into where we got blue chick. I've been knowing, trying to do my research on you. <laughs> and I'll be writing it down. I think because that blue chick, because cause they want you to get that, that credit card or whatever you got on file, mm-hmm. match your name. So yeah, then, then, mm-hmm. then, then some people done paid for it for three, four years. Really? And paid mm-hmm. up, and you know, uh, they finna come back and bite them in their ass. Wow, I, I just they I, gonna mess their credit up. Yeah, they, they gonna, they gonna mess yeah. it up, man. Do do you okay? The drill music thing is it dying down or is it? Yeah, I ain't worse? fuck with. I ain't fuck. I mean, with. is it dying down though? Cause it, or is it getting worse? I mean, you got. I, I just ain't. I don't. Live, I don't fuck with nobody talking about no gangster shit. Them niggas be too gangster for me. So it's over with. Wow. Man, yeah. Is it a phase that happened and moving on, yeah, or niggas yeah. still drilling? I ain't listen to. I don't, I don't think I listen to is Bumper Johnson. Bumper Johnson, Slang and I. Lang and Iron is the one that hottest song in Texas before he even drops. You that nigga that hard, man. Yeah, that bad bump of Johnson, Slang and Iron, and uh, Pink Pressure, she telling the story for the women. Me and her got back cool. You know, God told me to put her story out. You know, uh, you always liked her. You say she talk about the struggle too, right? She talk about the girl side of the struggle. Mm-hmm. struggle. But you needed a female. You had all them dudes. Yeah, but but it, that's, only one. That's the hardest thing with the female. Yeah. That's the hardest thing, cause you don't know who they fucking, and you don't. I don't want to be looking like uh, what's his name, J- uh, Johnny um, what's <laughs> damn D, damn, yeah, damn D, Johnny damn, that's not name Johnny damn D, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. <laughs> why you. you said why you say that um Dallas is missing Goyayo? Oh, because he got because he got the internet prayer. Let Goyayo get out. He doing interviews. He doing this and doing that. The only thing about it, if he don't come out with a hit in the next in the first the six seven months, that's a wrap. Well, he probably do all right because Supreme is uh, back uh-huh. talking with him. Yeah, but he, they, I'm, they back, they conversating and yeah, they, they, they looking the, the move on, on yeah. the movement once he come home. Yeah, I understand. They, uh, they little Supreme. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> That I guarantee I, I gotta get you a supreme on here together. I told him I was gonna. I, I, I want to put y'all on here together. I told, so him, we can, I told him a thousand. You got, you got, you got to be some money involved. Yeah, for me to do all that, you don't talk to all that shit. For me to sit there and look at you in your face. <laughs> nah, you don't, talk you don't know Randy's all about the money. Yeah, nah, but I'm trying to tell him this would be good I for the city, my man. My kids got to be looking at this shit. So if you don't sit, talk down about the whole situation. Nah, hell no. Nah. I got it, man. There goes some shoes, my kids. Who gonna win the game tonight? Mavericks. Oh, LSU and what's called? No, Mavericks. Yeah, game. Mavericks, Mavericks, Mavericks. Uh, we need to trade Luca. Who is their biggest competitor? Cause you always, you for always the, think that. Mavericks. Yeah, you always say the Mavericks gonna win. I got a tattoo on me. Right there, I got in bed. You love them that much. Yeah, what a Cowboys tattoo. No, I'm a San Francisco fan. <laughs> yeah. What? Mm. No, I'm a San Francisco fan. Mm. Are you serious? Yeah, since um, some Jay Rice, Ricky Walls, Martin Hanks. Nigga, you from down here. You need to stop my, that. My check come from San Francisco. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I get paid a check, it's like San Francisco. That's the whole game? No, it's serious. Empire is in San Francisco. I know. I said, that's the whole game. The money come from? Yeah, that's where it's at. I've been to San Francisco. That's how God worked. God let Mo3 sign to Empire. And I went to my first San Francisco game this year. Wow. By myself. I flew out there by myself. I I wish I can call it through. I thought y'all said y'all was going. That's what y'all was planning on moving up there, wasn't it? It was. That's how I called through. I went to the 49 game. You're going to say, yeah, that's how you talked about Luca and the 49. Loved it. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? It was everything you thought it was going to be? Yeah, I was down there with people I don't know, just love in the earth. I don't like being out here. Yo. You say that to yourself a lot, don't you? Yeah. I wish I could call I wish him. I could call my nigga, fool. I yeah, because I hear I, you say that I, a lot. That nigga would have told me that all them rappers around us. He would say, see, I told you. I was telling that nigga, go sign him, bro. Go get him out of jail. Hey, look how they do you. Yeah, that's how, I see. I feel what he was saying. My partner's, my partner's going to kill me. Before I let him kill him, I'm going to kill him. That's what he said. My partner switched up. That's how he rapped about Everybody ain't your free. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But he, he always said it, though. Like, you can't, these niggas switch up on you, everything go bad. Or when they, or, or when they get to their lowest point. You know what I'm saying? Do you like when you see people remixing or, or re, redoing Mo3 songs? Because there's been different people remake, remaking his song. The Dirk just did. That's what I'm saying. Are you cool with it? Yeah, 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 man. Showing homage. I like when niggas, I, niggas, did you see the other day when Dallas, Texas was in the building and we wasn't even there. And they had to play Mo3 where everybody was on stage just to get the crowd live. Wow. Beautiful. 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 Yeah. 
The other day, Regine, um, Lil Wayne's daughter, she was um, going hard. No, that's uh, Boosie daughter. Boosie daughter, sorry. Um, she was she was going. No, it wasn't. Regine. Regine is Lil Regine Wayne. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You right, you right. Yeah. I be seeing Boosie daughter so much freestyling here. That's all I think. No, about. she. You're right. <laughs> yeah, she was going hard to Mo three um, song, and some people were like, she should do um, a remake to that. Mm-hmm. Outside, well, do you think that would go hard? Mm. You said Lil Wayne, though. She be rapping like that? Not YF and Lucha Girl? Yeah. Who was her mama? Um, that, I'm that seeing girl, her the, the, uh-uh, that's Tiny that, Good yeah, Friend. Yeah, the one um, on the reality oh show. Oh, my God. What's her name? I cannot remember her name. She don't be rapping like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Boosted daughter the one rap. That's why yeah. I said it. Boosted daughter been getting like, up. Like, everywhere I look, I see his daughter. That's why uh, I said that. And she working. Boosted, Boosted daughter, uh... Boosie daughter making the girls like they stuff they game up. Yeah, that's what I'm telling you. That's the only one I see. I don't see no Reg Resonate be just taking up for a dad. I ain't never seen her just rapping like that. Mm-hmm. She be taking cause everybody talk about him cause he be doing stuff that people don't understand. Shit, I think Mo three more talented than him. Did Lil Wayne? Yeah. So you think Who do wait you a minute, uh uh-uh, uh, hold on. We gotta <laughs> talk about it. that's big right there. So you telling me, you know Lil Wayne how many features this nigga did, man? Mm-hmm. Hey, you gonna sit here and say how many, many you know how many pieces this nigga did? Tell it. Tell it. You see how many times that nigga changed his style up? He got a guitar, a skateboard. This nigga got all kinds of little artificial articles just to make it to the day. If you if you trying out for the NFL, right? You got the quarterbacks, you got the running backs, you gotta see who run fast, who jump fast, who throw the ball fast, who catch the ball, right? So you naming niggas who could do two things. What you mean? They, they, they uh, uh, if we had a, cal- a Columbine for artists, right? We got an artist who can tell jokes. We got artists who can to, can get on live and, and make people uh, interested. You got artists who say, okay, nigga, go on there and sing. Can you sing? Okay, can you rap? How fast can you rap? Right? Can you dress? How good? How good? Of, uh, how good of an entertainer you are? Right? Lil Wayne, look, look, Lil can barely goddamn talk. Yeah, he don't do a lot of interviews. Yeah, he don't do a lot of interviews. He probably can talk, so at the, end of, at the end of the day, like Drake. Drake was more talented than Lil Wayne. <sighs> okay, you but keep, I, you but keep I, coming. Without, Dra- without Lil Wayne, there would never be a Drake, that, man. He evolved, he evolved. He sit there and saw what he do and made his shit better. That's what make him I more I agree talented. with that. That's so, so that's, that's so Drake, I mean, Drake is more talented than Lil Wayne. I think so, Drake is more business-minded nah, than Lil Wayne. he's more talented. Because he know how to keep that money going up, but I think Lil Wayne have problems with that. Yeah, but see, but, <laughs> but, but he got, the Wayne, Wayne don't even rapped in eight, nine, nine years. He don't have nothing with nobody? Nothing. Him and Andre 3000. Yeah, see, Andre. they love to sit back. I think they ain't got I think no Andre more. 3000 say he not hip hop like it's T2O to be hip hop. Matter of fact, yeah, he, he, did say, he, did he say that. He did say that. too old for hip hop. Let, let me yeah. give you a good example. People say Bum B can rap. Yeah. You Bum B can rap. Right. I'm, I'm, uh, Pimp C can rap, but, but can rap now. But, but, but Pimp C was more talented. Pimp C was more of it's, his. It's just the way he carries exactly. himself. That's my nigga, oh, dog. Yeah, so 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 people Man. people be like Bum B. Went harder, and Bumby did lyrically wise. He went harder, Pimp C. Cause Pimp C sometimes say anything comes to the top of his mind. I can't say that but, just the way that but, nigga but, sang uh, it though, I, and I, the way he makes the it's, sound it's, come out. It's the tonality, man. Now I won my. I, now at the end, of, at the end of this whole interview, I won what I was saying. What? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all heard what he said? <laughs> And the, that's how I feel The way he was just saying And the way he did Yeah Yeah so that's how You I set me up yeah, not, no, yeah. But I got a question With that though Huh I got a question what? Cause you keep on putting Mo3 above Almost everybody Is there anybody Out there That is More talented To you Boosie Than Mo3 You got You say Boosie I say I say I say Boosie that, Is that because Mo3 looked up to Boosie No, nah, hell no. Nah. Boosie was a bad Motherfucker Boosie will tell a story I walked outside. I'm tired of this, man. He'll make you picture it. Is you it because man? you and Boosie had a relationship no, before? No, I, I, I seen Boosie talent before. Boosie was better than Pimp C. Wow, no. Hell no. <laughs> Nigga, you done lost your damn mind. Now, now you done messed up. He Don't do that, bro. Don't do that. 
Pimp C, don't do it. I'm not even going to go there with you Boosie because I'm, I'm not, Boosie I know wasn't. already what it takes. Bo- you got to realize Pimp C did, did production and all kind of stuff, man. He could go in there and make a whole album and just use Bun B to just deliver. This nigga was different, man. And he was going to get on that thing and ride it. The hooks, the, they going to rap. Nah, nah, so it's just, I, it, it's just too you, much to it, man. Tell, let, let me tell you, now, I'm Pimp C, my favorite rapper. Let me tell I you. know, and he mine too. So let me tell you, though. That's why, that, that, let me tell you. You right about that. Pimp C only gave the game to one category of people. Dope dealers, pimps. <laughs> no, nah, strippers, so, nigga. You missed okay, out strip, on uh, one, nigga. Okay, strippers. No, nah, I'm strippers. <laughs> but let me, let me see it. All it, nigga. Yeah, yeah, I, strippers, I, 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 nigga. I, 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 right? I, I, Them right strippers then. love Pimp C. So watch this. So at the end of the day, he only gave game to the people in the dark side of the world. Mo three two, nigga. Since you want to go there, nah. Mo he gonna he, really gonna he gonna bring up that one. That how many one, songs? I, what, how many songs the, the, Mo three have that take game like to uh, take it? Uh, I, I, <laughs> he always came with him. Do you know what I had to do? There Keep my go. life so Here we go. Taking the church. <laughs> Here uh, we go. Uh, second chance. Second chance by uh, on the last album. Uh, 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 outside. You know, he always got inspiration to do with the guy. So, you man. know. Man, I keep day. looking over that rain. That rain chain hard, boy. That be shine, That man. old go hard. Man. It, that's what caused it. You said everything changed. When I got the rain chain. <laughs> when you getting another one? When I got this damn I chain. Ain't, hell, no, nah, I ain't getting no more. You ain't getting no more? My watch fake, but I ain't getting no more. <laughs> so you, know, you, know, you, know, you know, people gonna always say, oh, he only got one chain. You know, everybody yeah, walking yeah, around with three, the, four, I'm, five chains. Nah, they'll get you killed. No, oh, no, that nigga, that chain. Bro, your own people that... Around you see the success, then he will try to kill you or get you robbed when they see that you successful and and they not. All they got to do is follow protocol. Just listen to what I say. You know what I'm saying? Just come on, y'all. Just, I'm going to give y'all the game. Y'all just got to listen. If I, if, I, if I come in podcast world and I don't know what I'm doing and I don't listen to what you say, then it's my fault I feel. That's real. You know what I'm saying? That's real. Just straight up. If I got that much pass to tell you what I say, Bumpy been doing it though. Bumpy been doing it though. Like, like Bumpy kind of see, but then you know sometimes success, sometimes success will make a nigga lose focus. So I like when my artists go through fucked up shit in their life because the streets will keep you humble. Mm-hmm. If, if 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 they take off off, off the first song. You gonna lose them, and they gonna lose themselves. See, sometimes the devil give you everything that you can that you need to destroy yourself. You know everything you saying true. is true, except for the part about PMC. And I keep going back. There. <laughs> and let me tell you something. The reason I want to go back there is because Boosie, uh-huh. he ain't even got a harder project than the Webby Savage Life One or Two. Yeah, he do. No, he don't. He ain't got no harder project Webby, than but, Webby Savage I, 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 Life I, I, One or Two. So, 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 so ain't no, ain't no project he got. Hold on. Do y'all understand what I said though? No project. Now the nigga got some when good you songs. Come, when you come out, but the, a when, whole project. Hold on, listen. That's the problem with Webby. Savage Life. Webby, man, hold, that's hold, 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 hold on. Webby came out the gates too strong and destroyed himself. He can't. He can barely talk. <laughs> It has nothing to do with it. He came out the gates too strong and he was he can barely talk. After Savage Light like 2, that was a rap. But that nigga hard still people. He did some more after that. Yeah, no, no, I know. I got them 12. Yeah, 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 but, yeah. But, yeah, but he never Yeah, yeah, he came back with some more hard he music. Never, he never came back to the success that he had. Boosie slow paced it. Like, boom, let me get that. Let me learn that as he go. That was Pimp C a lot of that. That was talk, that was Pimp, Pimp C. C. Was gone. No, but Pimp C the early on Pimp C was holding him and, and yeah, 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 this yeah, ain't good yeah, like you was yeah, doing yeah, with yeah, Mo three. That's what I'm saying. So Webby came out the gate, the devil gave him all the the, the tools to destroy himself. That's he barely can talk. Man, I don't I hadn't talked to him lately. I talked to his brother. Yeah, I know what I'm saying I'm saying he barely like you look at the, he's still wearing chains from back in the day. And that was my favorite rapper too. Bro, that's just how he is. No, he just no, don't he, give a damn about see, all see, that other. See, that's savage. Nigga, that nigga yeah, savage. Yeah, that's yeah, all yeah. you did. No, no, so so let me ask you a question. So the nigga got sweet John Jones somewhere uh, on him, nigga. That's okay. my nigga right there. Too. Have you ever have you ever he never evolved? I, I agree he could took it there, but he like what he done. He still get money for shows. He yeah, still show up. Understand he's, he's a hard So guy. you got to understand what type of level the people want to be on. Some people want to be on local level. And, and, and local level be around here. Some people just want to tell dogs around local. 
Boosie don't, don't really care yeah. to do no shows no more. He just do man, the Vlad shows. Man. All he want to do is Vlad. He don't man, really no, give a damn. He, 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 he feel like Vlad. Like, give him enough money. He don't even care next about Thursday, them shows. Next Thursday, I'm going to go meet up. Boosie got a Boosie got a, a huge club. He do in Vegas. Vegas. Where, when y'all going, nigga? I'll next, pull next up. Thursday. Yeah, yeah. Listen, listen. Listen. You go to his house. When, 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 when he first got out of jail, we went to his house in, in, in Lando. I said, damn, you got a big ass house. Yeah, then I heard I, about it. I ain't never went. Then I went, didn't take a then nigga. I went Doug, to, then I went to the Doug. No, 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 no. I'm talking about the one before that. Oh, the one before but that. But now, now he got it. I said, bro, your house. He said, yeah. I said, your house kill another house. He said, you ain't seen everything. He said, rain. He said, look, I'm building another mansion back here. You got a lot of land on the same property. On the yeah, same property. He bought a lot of land. I said, bro, That's what that is. I thought I said, bro, I'm paying damn rent, eight thousand, nine thousand dollars for rent. He told me, look at me. I say, nigga, own your own shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that nigga. Yeah, he he did yeah. some. Oh, them boys, the the the, the what, what's them boys? G and B, uh, mm -hmm. B B Dunn and uh, G Luck just was talking about Boosie when he had got cancer that he, he paid ninety six thousand cash for his surgery, Down and most people Houston. wouldn't have had the money to do that. Yeah. He dropped that money out, and he still went to the studio every day. I respect the hell out the way the nigga nah, moved. Nah, so that nigga hustled. Yeah, yeah. I ain't gonna See, lie so, so look, 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 look. Oh, Webby not that. Webby, ain't, Webby, Webby has got his thing going. Now, don't get He fell when he running with the kids and stuff, and he got on yeah. uh, 106, uh, not, not, I mean, Breakfast Club, and he missed Charlemagne them name up a little bit, but and he, he started saying he got a big, you know what? This is just his, it was his promo. It was his marketing. He was a marketing guy. He does his thing. Yeah, He's yeah, still no. relevant. So, so, He's still uh, relevant. Uh, 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 so, look, 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 look. Hit by hits. And I like Webby. Boosie got more hits. Boosie got a lot of hit, but that damn savage life so, running to Who's was better than bad. Boosie? Huh? Who's better than Boosie to you? In the South. Now nah, he the king. Oh, the South. No, period. Who's better than Boosie? Oh, it's like you got the Jay Z's. You got the, you know, no, you got I'm not going to say Jay Z. I'm not going to do that. You're not going to do that on uh, here. Nah, nah, yeah. Jay Z ain't no better nah, than no damn. I can't. I can't. It, it, no, you got, not in the South, bro. Hold on, hold on. I'm not no, no, no. Music wise? No, no, I'm saying overall. Overall. 50 Cent? Fifty Cent a bad nigga when Boosie. it come down. Eminem, there, better than Boosie. You keep bringing up these niggas' name. You can't say Birdman, nigga. What's wrong with you, man? Birdman got no hits. Birdman, Birdman no, I don't give a damn. Birdman got that. that he yeah. got a damn. Kevin. I love Birdman music too, nigga. You like, gone with that? Listen. We gonna ride out to some street, uh, real nigga. But, yeah, I'm gonna ride with Birdman. In the south, if you if you in the south, y'all got sixty thousand dollars. Y'all need to flip. Go do a Boosie show. That nigga gonna bring me. <laughs> That's why you like Boosie. That nigga smiling here to here. He flipping money. <laughs> he thinking about the it's money. It's a turnout. It's a turnout. People gonna come out. <laughs> it's, a <laughs> it's, a it's a holiday in the South. Any city you go to in the South. So you said if you did a Birdman concert. Nah, hell no. Nah. Nah, you you're not gonna have the no, turnout. No, 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 you no, 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 no. You crazy. If you do Birdman. Man, if you do a Birdman show, that hoe gonna go. Man, fuck that. He gonna have a couple of niggas come through. I can't hit that. That hoe gonna go, nigga. can't hit that right now. Man, I don't give a damn. I can't hit that hoe. You know who Birdman is. Nigga, let him tell him who gonna show up at that hoe. You talking about Birdman. You might leave my nigga alone, man. Man, Birdman, Rick Ross. Uh, yo, got it. Rick Rose, don't say Rick Rose and Ti. They ain't bringing nobody. Nigga, you crazy, man. They I know can. it. In the South, Boosie is the king. I'm the Kyle Boosie right now. Look, <laughs> y'all got me fucked up. Y'all got me fucked up. Say Boosie. Tell them about your shows. They don't understand. They don't. It's like don't a holiday. Think, I don't think Boosie really even talk. He get that Vlad. Uh, him and Vlad got a uh, deal, side deal uh, going. No, no they making big money on these damn interviews. Still They're not really though. worried about all that music but I'm like saying, that. He's, he's, still, nigga he's still doing shows. He's still doing shows. A lot of them? Yeah, Boosie. He ain't gonna answer. Who the hell? Man, hit that hoe gonna answer. That nigga always be he got, Tell him don't be mad at me, nigga, because I didn't answer him. He got six nigga kids. He got, yeah, he probably can't answer. He can't answer. Nah, them kids on that nigga. He said Kyle But now, nah, look. Boosie is the king of the South. The, the next you got... Young boy, I'll let me tell you. Oh, young boy, it's definitely. Some, you can't even put young boy under it's like that. It's about bad news. No, I ain't gonna no, lie to no. you. You young, say young boy is young boy higher way than Boosie. High, way higher. If that nigga yeah, do yeah, a show, yeah, yeah, if he yeah, do yeah, a show, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's do a up, show. nigga. So look, look, and all look. This is what I do. All the talent and all the it's the powerful, most powerful people in the game come from Baton Rouge. Oh yeah, in New Orleans. If Baton Rouge and New Orleans teamed up, bad. I, I, I ride <laughs> with them niggas. Shit, it, I ride it, with them if niggas. New Orleans, if New Orleans and Baton Rouge teamed up, they can do a tour around the whole world, and it'd be retarded pack. You, you got about old and you got Kevin Case. You got you got Birdman, Lil Wayne, 
Kevin Gates, Boosie, Young Boy, Fredo Bangs. You can do the same thing like that in Houston too, though. Hell no, nah. man. Houston got a lot of talent over there, man. You got Scarface, nah. you got man. Uh, come on, you got he's talking Kiki, about you old got... talent compared to no. Nah, he he says he name Birdman. He named Birdman. You okay. can't name Birdman. You name Birdman. I, I gotta I, go back in my I, bag. I, I take Birdman, Master P. They got all talent, mystical. Yeah, but they got talent locked up. Man. I'm saying, I'm saying, but I'm saying they got he looking at talent. They got talent. New school and old school. Houston, do okay. You telling me Houston ain't got no talent? Not New York. Not New York. Not in what? New York. They can't pack it out in New York. Oh, in New York. They can't pack it out in California. All the people that was hot in the South, I mean, in Baton Rouge, they can go to anywhere around the world. I got to ask you, did you think Scarface was wrong for not taking uh, Willie D up there? No, nah, hell no. Nah. Scarface, man, I want to tell Scarface, I, I fuck with Scarface. Scarface, Scarface, I seen a little white boy. So you say he shouldn't have took Willie D? He, should, he shouldn't, hell no. Nah. Why? What? Huh? Why? They didn't call Willie D. They called Scarface. But he sung a song that Willie D was on. Ghetto oh, Boys they, song. They didn't ask for Willie D. Are That's you, his second half. They okay, but they didn't. They wasn't second. Second Scarface was a Scarface was a fucking a motherfucker beast by itself. Yeah, but yeah. Willie D was hard. Man, man listen, I seen this ball head hoes. I seen this weed and alcohol. Yeah. You're not finna do this, y'all. Hey, listen, it's some songs, man, that you go back and listen on them ghetto boys. Uh, Willie D's verse gonna always step talk, up the play. We ain't talking about verse. We talking about superstar. It don't matter, superstar. Now he, he he made up ghetto that's, boys too. That's like three, he wrote all of the okay, Bushwick verses. That's like three. God dang, get my like, boy a shot. That's he like, shouldn't have left it, man. That's like he three. That's like three six mafia ain't bringing Pat J. Pat. Project Pat? Yeah. Nigga, you crazy? Boy, that nigga go hard. Project Pat. Man, you think about some smile yeah. shit. <laughs> you don't like it? A little white boy came to me the other day, right? Yeah. I said, I need you to go do some photography shit for me. He said, cool. I looked him in his eye. I said, it's some stuff you gonna see that'll make it hard to smile. You know what I'm saying? That white boy looked at me and said, what type of stuff I'm finna see? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you silly, man. That's the deepest shit I ever heard a nigga say. <laughs> That nigga say it's some stuff you gonna see. They gonna make it hard to smile. <laughs> this nigga quoting the song to this nigga. Look, I want somebody call Scarface ass. What the fuck did that mean? <laughs> Scarface. I, I, well, I, hey man, listen. Hot boy West says Scarface the hardest nigga out of Texas. Legend, and nobody have a bigger legend style. I think I agree with him. Legend wise, this Scarface. Yeah. yeah man. Legend wise. There's nobody living that's a bigger legend than Scarface in Texas. A lot of people say that. I agree with that. A lot of people. Man. Living. Erica. Erica Badu. Yeah. Uh, that's a different genre, though. No, it's still it's still culture. It's hip hop. It's still culture, but I still say when it comes to legend status, man, it's hard to get around Scarface. Man, he got a lot going. But hey, man, listen, man. Uh, Top, top five legends. Are you talking about oh, legends? Top in the five. world? My no, legends, no, no, no. In Texas, top oh, five oh, legends. Oh, oh, this, this is what we're going to do. Uh, Scarface, Bond, Pimp, Mo3, and there's one more. The Bar Baby. Hey, Big Mo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He started, Big Mo. He started that saying. But you said Erica a while ago, yeah, so you don't put Erica I, I went in your top five? Yeah, yeah I put it in hip hop. I went hip hop, though. Oh, you went hip hop? Yep. So top, you, top five in Dallas, you got. Let me tell you. And you don't, you uh, wouldn't uh, put nah. Um, DOC? Nah, hell no. Nah. Let me watch tell you. Watch yourself, top son. five songs in Dallas, Texas history. Watch yourself, son. Watch this. Top song, five songs, Dallas history. Big Chief, he didn't make it. What? He didn't. You got. Man, Big T had, had that song. Um, top five songs. What is it? Top five songs in Dallas history ever. My Dougie. Yeah. Wheels, My Dougie? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, I see that. Erica, I mean, uh, Erica Badu. Right? Mm -hmm. Which one? Uh, she had a bunch of them. Uh, on and on. But the hottest? Roll? Which one was well, the hottest? Uh, on and on. That was hot. That was hot. Okay. Uh, Number three. The Row. Mm -hmm. Ice Cream Ice Cream Paint job. job. Right. Number four. Um, stanky leg. That's big. Mm -hmm. And then number five. It's good to come outside. Yeah, but you yeah you, you bias on that. Why you said? But that? that was big though. Yeah, you, Why you, 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 you left five. You left five. That's on me with the uh, yellow. You know already I think, that I was think, a big song. I think that outside, was a no, big no, no, song. No, 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 no. I think I, I don't think he made top five. Where would you put him? Six. Yeah, cause he he right there. Six. He's right there. I give him six. I give him. Uh, 
Uh, Oak Cliff. That's a big song. That was a huge That's song. That's a big song. Oak Cliff, number seven. Yeah, that was a big song. You know what I'm saying? Uh, number eight. I don't be, I don't want to leave nobody out. Uh, Quint Black shake them haters off. Nah, off. hell. No. <laughs> I don't let Quint Black and none from Gun man. Chief. Nah, hell. Why no. you only get Chief? Nothing. He never made top ten. What 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 hit did he have? That nigga had a lot of. Well, lot I know of he had that. underground hood shit. Boy, that nigga had some else? songs though, man. I, I you don't. Got, you you see, I still the name. Party boys, hands on your head. Oh, he know all of them. You know what I'm saying? Be him. Be him. Ricky yeah, Bobby. Niggas, you just Ricky love Damn D. Damn D. Damn D. Listen, listen, listen. Crook for life. Yeah. Ooh, you ain't named Crook for life, nigga. That whole yeah. album went on. So look, so look. That whole album, so nigga. Look, that whole. So look. That Mr. Pook and Lucha killed the Top game 10. with that old. Top 10 Word of Chief song foul. Now we ain't talking about well, Chief was on that on that uh, yeah, but uh that, that, song? That, that wasn't a top ten song. What that you was mean? It. That wasn't top ten. No three even redone that whole your I tongue. understand that, but that wasn't nigga, that whole your tongue okay. went hard. But nigga. I understand, but that wasn't top ten. I don't know. It could be. The man, you know you what? Crazy rain. Everybody always coming out with lists. Why don't you do one of them lists and post it? Cause I don't want to get nobody. He gonna no piss kid. everybody <laughs> off because he they ain't gonna like what he say. Yeah, yeah, nah, nah. That, Anything I, Rain say I, get piss everybody I, off I, anyway. I give. No, I'm saying, I, and I ain't, I ain't biased. I give it to y'all. Y'all got y'all got y'all is up there top ten. He is. I ain't, I can't lie about that. Then you talking about niggas with mixtapes and albums, full complete albums. Then you, know, you got Big Chief and up there. What do you think about uh, Ty? Oh, uh, he should follow my lead. What you mean? When he died, I used to reach out to him. You used to reach out to him when Mo3 died? Yeah, yeah, we was on Clubhouse together. Man. You going to be on Clubhouse this year? Uh-uh. Y'all with Wack. Wack with Wack 100. Yeah, that's my new. Uh, Ty's like, man. Ty's so talented, he ain't got nobody to preach to go to war for him. Mm -hmm. That's the problem. Some people just talented where they can shoot in the gym. Mm -hmm. You know, you go to the local Ricks, you got niggas in there bowling. Do you want to sign him? Nah, he too old. But I just want to give him some game. Mm. Like Bobby. I want to see Bobby win. Ooh, if I was behind Bobby, phew. That nigga, he could be on anybody's deal. Yeah, you, too, you know, the streets don't like, Dallas don't like the bad guys to, to be the front runners. Mm. Let me get you out of here, Ray. But I'm going to tell you something, Ray. Uh, Thank you for mentioning Boss Talk 101 is one of your best interviews. Don't worry, what I said. Yeah, you said that. Don't you, worry. Know, you said, I think it was... It might have been Mogul Media asked you about uh. that. So you said we we give you good interviews. So I want to tell you thank you. A lot of niggas don't like to get my credit because I'm so early in the game. When I came in, it kind of bumped people out of the way. Yeah, we need to go outside like, get some uh, get the way well, to the taco stand. Man, I don't know. I think that they, they, they still they don't them. be over there like that. Do I haven't seen them in a while. You like niggas their tacos? Some money, yeah. but they, they made my stove stink. I'm glad. Hey, I'm glad Ooh, they I'm got gonna, rid of them. I'm gonna leave here and go give me some tacos. And There's another the taco stand right down there. I don't want to go. I was down the island, was in there talking to me. Yeah. yeah. Hey, <laughs> man. Listen, man. Thank you for coming on the show. We love you, Rain, man. It's been another great segment. A boss talk 101. <laughs> Where the, the bosses talk. talk.